Hey guys, I have got two Samsung Galaxy Note 2 LTEs here in front of me. They are both the N7105. The device on the left is running stock Android 4.1.2 with Samsung's Touch with UI. The device on the right is running Synergen Mod 10.1 with Android 4.2.2. This is just going to be a bit of a quick video where I explain a couple of the pros and cons um, between the two ROMs and I'm also going to do a little bit of a speed comparison. So the main pro with TouchWiz UI is um, the amount of um, additional features. They add a lot of features on top of stock Android, such as additional laps and additional widgets, and they also style it a bit differently. Um, I personally like this. There are, however, quite a few people out there who are not big fans of TouchWiz UI. I quite like some of the extra widgets that they add to it. Um, some of these widgets, you know, such as the alarm widget, they also add a few different clock widgets and a few different weather widgets, a few different calendar widgets, etc., which um, I quite like. Um, and also another advantage with the stock ROM on the Galaxy Note 2 in particular is the support for the S Pen. When you switch over to Synergy Mod, support for the S Pen isn't quite as good. They don't have quite as many apps or features relating to the S Pen. It's not a big deal. It's just something I um, happened to notice. Um, and the main advantage with Synergy Mod 10.1, which was one of the most popular custom ROMs out there, is um, the speed. Um, it is a very fast ROM compared to most um, stock ROMs and custom ROMs as well. A lot of people flash it on older devices to give them a new lease of life. Um, so let me show you an example. I am going to open up the phone app on both devices and I'm going to close them at exactly the same time. And as you can see, it was almost two times quicker to um, close the app on the device running Synergen Mod. That is just one example of how Synergen Mod is a lot faster than the stock ROM with Touch with UI. And another example is when it comes to scrolling, it's going to be hard to reproduce here. Though it feels a lot less choppy to scroll um, on Synergen Mod 10.1 compared to the stock ROM. This is most noticeable when you are visiting web pages, scrolling through menus, etc. It's something that you have to really experience to notice. Some um, it's probably not really going to come across in this video. Another major advantage with Synergy Mod is that you get updates a lot quicker. So the latest update for the Galaxy Note 2 LTE N7105 worldwide is Android 4.1.2. That's the latest version in any kind, you know, in any country around the world. Um, whereas with Synergen Mod 10.1, the latest version of Android is 4.2.2, which, to my knowledge, is the latest version of Android. You know, that's pretty good, and it doesn't take them very long to, um, you know, basically bring out an update whenever a new version of Android is announced, rolled out, etc. And another thing to consider is community support. So with the stock ROM, um, you're basically going to have support, you know, directly from Samsung, and obviously you won't void your warranty, etc. Though with um, Synergy Mod um, 10.1, as, as, as long as you follow all of the instructions and do everything correctly and don't brick your device, um, the warranty side of things isn't really a problem. And you can always um, flash back to the stock ROM anyhow. Um, and another main advantage of Synergy Mod is, since it is probably the most popular ROM out there, there is a lot of community um, support on xdadevelopers.com, etc. So basically, in conclusion, both ROMs have their pros and cons. Um, the stock ROM has a you know a bit more you know a few more features and added functionality on top of Android, which I quite like. However, it is a bit slow at times. Um, you know, they should probably make it a bit, you know, a, you know, a bit faster. I have tried, um, you know, Samsung's latest um, Android ROM on the S4, and even that feels a bit slow compared to other devices. They really need to, you know, speed up their ROM, you know, when it comes to opening, closing apps, browsing web pages, etc. Um, yeah, and with Synergen Mod 10.1, obviously the main advantage is um, the community support, the latest versions of Android and just the basic speed overall. Um, the one thing with Synergy Mod is that you will need to flash Google Apps after you flash the ROM, and even when you flash Google Apps, you will find yourself going back to the App Store, Play Store, and downloading um, apps that you had forgotten for the next week or two. Like the other day, I forgot to flash navigation before I went for a drive, etc. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Really, tell me what you know what you think in the comment section below. Um, if you have this device or another device, do you prefer the stock ROM or Synergy mod? Which one are you using on your device? Um, so yeah, like this video if you enjoyed watching it. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And thanks for watching.